Darling, you send me. I know you send me. Darling, you. It's recording now. You want to be on it? <laughs> yes. The coffee. The star of my show. Look at these cool aprons that they have. Isn't it like your favorite accessory? It makes me look like a little boy. <laughs> Still want your two raw sugars and cream? Yes, please. Okay, great. That's what you're That's what I did. Darling, you. my entire morning at the Opera House of Coffee. I actually was editing a video for somebody trying to put something together. Took a while, but I'm okay with that because I am exhausted. This guy I met when we were doing the La Ponita Hambari up on top of the mountain. He started following me on Instagram. I don't know if he watches the channel, but he told me that if I'm down here in Durant that I need to try this barbecue restaurant downtown. Something really cool about running into locals, you get to hear about cool stuff, you get to try it out. You know what? My life would be so much easier if I had a one wheel. Past two days, I was doing DoorDash non-stop, no breaks. It gets a little tiresome when you don't pace yourself. Usually, when I do DoorDash, I'd, you know, I'll take a, get my coffee in the morning, you know, take a little bit of a break, and you know, wait till I'm ready. I mean, aside from grabbing lunch real fast, I was just on top of it. Send me, darling. You. Shout out to TJ for telling me to try this. Darling, you and it's got a nice view. Funny enough, they actually use Head Country barbecue sauce. It used to be a local barbecue restaurant that was, I think, Oklahoma City or just somewhere high of that. Um, we used to go there all the time because my dad, where my dad grew up, it was only about an hour away. And um, it was like the best barbecue restaurant ever. Now they've expanded, so you can actually buy the barbecue sauce in like all over the states. It has been molten lava hot the last couple of days. Like it, I'm dying in here. I'm already sweating. I don't know if you can tell. DoorDash isn't busy yet. It's already like five o'clock. I don't know what its deal is. Yesterday, because I dashed like literally all day, I am currently at $630, which is only $70 below my goal. My goal was to get a minimum of $700 before I left for Colorado, but I set that minimum under the assumptions that I would be able to get no less than $100 per day. So I was thinking if I got $100 per day and I paced myself at $100 per day, I would be able to make, I would be able to make $700 minimum by the end of the week. And then I assumed the weekends would be busier. So if I could get more than that, that was my goal. I was gonna see if I could get more than $700, but I expected to make no less than $700. So I plan on leaving for Colorado by Wednesday. Tomorrow's Tuesday, I'm going to go back to Sherman. I'm going to get my solar panel, 
from there i'm just gonna hang out the rest of the day maybe see if i can meet up with roy and carol before i leave i'm gonna start heading to new mexico on wednesday i'm hoping to be there by thursday at the latest i might stop halfway through just to take a break i don't want to rush it if there's something cool i see or i just want to i'm just tired of driving for some reason i, I don't want to like make this like a beeline i want to just kind of you know start enjoying the journey making it there i don't want to just drive and then get bored. I don't want to get burnout immediately from traveling. So if you're in the Santa Fe or Albuquerque area and you want to meet up, let me know. If you're somewhere down more in the south area of New Mexico, uh, I will wrap back around. I will get to you soon. But if you are in the northern area of New Mexico, let me know and we'll see if we can do something. I just ran into Dollar Tree. I was trying to look for uh, some cheap sunglasses. See, I've been trying to find sunglasses that are pretty identical to these, because I feel like these are just my signature, but I want them to be like stupid cheap, so if I'm ever doing something risky, but I also want to be wearing sunglasses. They didn't have any inside of Dollar Tree though, I looked. I guess Walmart's the next stop. Darling. Place to do what I plan on doing. I'm about to go to the gym. This is actually the back alley. I didn't know where I'd be able to spray paint, but I figured as long as I didn't leave a trail and nobody just saw me randomly spray painting something, nobody would care. Figure by the time I'm done working out, they'll probably be dry by then or at least dry enough. Well, I walked back over here and uh, looks like they're still here and there's no collateral. Make sure they're dry. Okay, they're dry. And they're messy, as they're supposed to be. Now that we have the cruddy white plaster thingies, you take popsicle sticks. They're the only ones I have. Okay, so that was entirely more tedious than I was expecting it to be. Um, and they came out looking like ripoff Casey Neistat glasses. I probably should have uh, been a little bit more careful. What ended up happening is uh, because these are cheapos and not like genuine, I was, what I should have done instead is I should have just sprayed the face of it and not done the arms because I ended up doing the arms and like they stuck really good which usually would be a good thing but since we're trying to peel it off now I just have these really crappy looking white frames down here it got really clobby and I think when I was trying to rub it off I might have actually damaged the plastic itself I think that because it's actually a cheap plastic and not like a real the real deal it uh just kind of wore out and now it's like really rough there so it feels kind of weird when I'm wearing it but it was a cool project before you guys leave this video I just want to show you something real fast Every single day, I wake up and do my best to try to create amazing content. And although I might not show it in the videos, it takes me roughly five hours to edit each one of those videos. And that's not even counting the time I spend filming. Now, like I said before, I try to make a video almost every single day. That means about 30 videos a month. After those videos go through AdSense and Google processing, I bring home roughly $100 a month. Now, if we divide $100, from 30 videos, that means I make roughly $3.34 per video. For over five hours of work, I only bring home about $3. That's it. Even on one of my most viewed videos, How I Live in a Jeep Wrangler, that video has over 4,000 views, and I only brought home about $9 from that. 
This is the exact reason why I have Patreon. These last couple of days, I've been working hard doing DoorDash just to try to get the funds so I can get to Colorado so I can create more amazing content for you guys. The more time I spend working is less time I'm able to focus on creating these amazing videos for you guys. And making videos is my true passion. For the price of a cup of coffee a month, you can be helping support my channel so that I can focus more on making videos and bring this amazing content for you guys. And if you can't support my channel, that's perfectly fine. Like I said, I do this because I enjoy doing it. As always, thank you so much for watching this video and thank you to all my amazing Patreons for making this video possible. Today.